So I believe Opsine plays Villager. So this is going to be probably Villager versus Ness. Um, and this matchup I think is pretty favored for Villager. Yeah, if that is the matchup we're seeing, one thing that we want to look out for is Villager's Pocket, which uh, can be pretty devastating when Ness is trying to recover. Yeah, Ness is trying to recover and he needs that PK Thunder to hit himself. And Villager can just kind of like swoop out there and be like, hey, I kind of I kind of, <laughs> like that Thunder. Like, let me... <laughs> that, that's my Thunder now. Let me have that. <laughs> um, doesn't actually get much from pocketing the Thunder besides denying the recovery, but that's definitely a very valuable thing to do. I mean, it's a guaranteed kill. I, I would say that's pretty That's pretty good. That's. I mean, yeah, it's probably better than what usually happens when you pocket a projectile, which is you get a small amount of percent. Yeah, and that is the matchup we're seeing here. You know what really bothers me about Ultimate? I didn't realize this until until recently, but how, how fun it is. Uh, it, okay, watch when watch when Villager puts out a Lloyd Rocket. Um, the Lloyd Rocket, the eyes like stretch out super far, and then they like shrink to their regular size afterwards. Oh, and there, oh, yeah. we already <laughs> see it. the pocket. All right, I'll I'll call Sakurai up and tell him about the Lloyd Rocket eyes. <laughs> they just they stretch out really big. big. Problem. I can't unsee them. This has never been something I've noticed, but I I think it's important. <laughs> yeah, well, we see Opsine though in this match running away with a big lead already. This is kind of what you want to do against Ness. Is you want to like make sure that he has to try and find his way in on you. Uh, he doesn't have that many like good approach tools, so when he's in this position, like. He doesn't have, like, his, his options are very, very limited. Mm -hmm. um, and if he's ever off stage like this, yeah, no jump off stage again. Yeah, that could have been another opportunity to pocket the thunder. Which would have been terrifying. <laughs> I don't like going to this already, but I wonder if Pantry has any other characters to try. So I think this matchup is, like, pretty rough. Yeah, it might, uh, might come down to that. We do see him getting a back throw to kill, and a Ooh. very good combo <laughs> oh, brings okay. it all the way back. And the PK Thunder. Oh, that could have been big. That almost worked. Oh, this back throw. Wow, pantry. And this this kind of has been a trend with pantry. You kind of start. Oh, <laughs> uh, the oh, bowling ball might uh, halt a bit of momentum there. Whoa, <laughs> he froze. Uh, but what I was gonna say is just that he um. He's been tending to start off slow and then kind of like adapting. Yeah, it takes a while to figure the opponent out. Um, but, and, and I mean, it looks like that's what's happening here too. Slowly getting it figured out here too. Upside holding onto this stock. Yeah, that up tilt not quite gonna do it. Appreciate the slow, the slow play at ledge. Especially if Pantry's gonna kind of get hit, clipped by these projectiles coming back on stage. Definitely good from Opsign to kind of like abuse that. And wow, that PK <laughs> Thunder kill. You don't see that every day. <laughs> and that that looked like it was like it wasn't close to not killing. Like it, it killed. Like oh, no, it, he, he teleported. He, yeah, that he's was, out of here. <laughs> that was intense. You're almost connecting. All right, connected. It just kind of clipped him. Looking for the bowling ball. Yeah. Oh, a good roll read attempt. A lot of times when... Oh, wait, that's that was so clean. <laughs> Opsign just keeping Pantry at the ledge, but that's not good. Great oh, tech. Good. <gasps> but the yo-yo, this reversal could be huge. Under uh, the stage. Oh, he does make it back. Oh, that was terrifying. That could have been a complete reversal. But now we see Pantry back off stage and the Lloyd Rocket. Not quite. Opsign goes deep and gets the pocket on the thunder once again. Wow, there we go. Game one. That's what you like to see. No fear. He just goes for it, even in the last hit situation. Yeah, that's the kind of thing that you want to have, have down as far as execution goes. If you're able to, like, pull that sort of thing off, the game's just over. Like, yeah. So you need to be able to do that. There's, there's no counterplay to that. If you force, if you take their jump and force them to up B, you can just end it. Absolutely. Oh, sorry, screen's going dark. 
that's the one downside to spectating on on Switch is you have to make sure that you're you're still touching your controller. You can't let it let it go, which I think is fine. I mean, it's just the Switch's. Well, it's kind of like in real feature. life. If you're if you're in a crowd and you start falling asleep, you just got to make sure you stay awake. <laughs> yeah, if you were actually watching a battle arena, I guess you wouldn't be able to just just sit there and not move. Yeah, not that not that you'd ever fall asleep watching matches like this. Yeah, no, definitely not these matches. <laughs> I've seen some some Wi-Fi sets. <laughs> There's some other characters that, thankfully, we haven't seen so far in uh, this tournament. Um, so I'm just uh, scrolling through bracket here. I'm just kind of checking whether that last loser set has kind of um, finished itself up. And it's still 1-1 between Tardis Cat and the Senate. So we'll have to see. Exciting. The other side of losers is going to be Ogre Nap and Caillou Lover. I, I accidentally misread it the first time, and I thought it said cauliflower, <laughs> but it says Caillou Lover. So, um, and the only person that Caillou Lover's lost to is Pantry. Oh, okay. So, he lost to Pantry in, like, round one, and he's made his way back all, all the way, way back to, to the top eight. The top eight. So, yeah, we'll have to see how he does in a little bit. Yeah, that's a big question mark. He took a game off of Pantry as well. So Very interesting. Definitely some interesting sets coming up. All right, and we're heading into game two here. Oh, it is Tardis Cat. Three, two, one, go. All right, here we go on Town and City. Good stage for Ness, just because of uh, once again the blast ones on the side being closer. Uh, Ness will be able to kill with his back throw very early. You see the oh, eyes stretch out there? <laughs> yeah, I, I actually didn't notice it because I was watching that deep edge guard from Pantry, which was way more interesting than Lloyd Rocket. I, I I don't know. It makes it hard for me to watch Villager, and I know that's gonna win. But did you see them stretch out there? No, I, I was watching this great <laughs> yeah, <okay>. neutral. <laughs> well, uh, I'll have to. I'll have to. Um, yeah, they look normal there. I don't. I don't know what you're talking about. I'll have to freeze frame it at some point. You can try. <laughs> See, and we see a Lloyd Rock in the background too, just freaking out, watching all of his brothers just. Oh wait, Pantry's so far ahead. He launched that Pantry here. Yeah, that early edge guard that you missed. <laughs> yeah, sorry, I got paying it. dividends for Pantry here. I didn't realize that that uh, that brought it this far ahead. Oh wow, okay. Hops on, come bring it back. Let's see if he's able to find the kill though. Pantry going so aggressive off stage. Nice back air. Neither of these players want to die. They're both oh, we're flying very slow. Good forward air. Nice, yeah, the slingshot. Now setting up his sapling, you can get a lot of damage from a low percent combo into that. And neither you see it a little bit. Both these players um, have such terrifying edge guard setups. Like Ness with Yo Yo and with PK Thunder, mm -hmm. and then Villager with like Bowling Ball and like Sapling, and then I guess Pocket in this matchup. Yeah, even the slingshots can be a dangerous edge guarding tool. Yeah. Alright. Oh, bad DI. Wasn't, wasn't expecting the back yeah. air there. Back air. Back, yeah, back throw. Back throw from that far across the stage. I don't I don't know if anybody's gonna, <laughs> gonna predict that. But I guess in that case, like, forward throw from Ness is never gonna kill you. So you can kind of just, like, hold out and be fine in most cases. Oh, setting up the, <laughs> setting up the <laughs> traps. That might have covered every option. <laughs> he had, like, one projectile, like, for each layer of stage. Yeah, every angle was covered. Using Ness's own projectiles against him and everything. Good get up attack. Gets through that yo-yo. Deals with it properly. Alright, relatively even game here. Exploit rocket pressure. <laughs> 
Sometimes you think you can punish things like like dash attacks and stuff from villager, but then the Lloyd Rocket's following right behind. Makes it very, very hard to um to punish things properly. Definitely. And then Pops are just holding center stage so well. Back right there. And that's gonna do yep. How exactly does that slingshot work? It's stronger the closer you are to him, right? Yeah. I just wanted to make sure. Yeah, that slingshot was very close up and it definitely uh, sent him to the blast zone there. Yeah, if you're right next to Villager, it'll have like kill move knockback and then further away it's a really light hit. And yeah, that's going to give Opsign a 2-0 lead in this best of five set. We'll have to see what sort of adaptations Pantry is able to make. We've seen him do it before. Yeah, but this is this is pretty spooky. Being down two games, we'll have to see what he does for for stage counter pick here. I don't actually think Town was a bad pick. I just think like I think this is a tough matchup. Yeah, I could see that. He did do a better job that game of avoiding the pocket. Not getting like his his uh his recovery screwed over, but uh, didn't seem to matter that much. Opsign's still playing that neutral very very clean. All right, he's gonna stick with the Ness. I'm guessing he doesn't have any any better matchup for for this, mm -hmm. which is super reasonable. He's gonna try a different stage here. We're going to Yoshi's story. I'm trying to think of what this stage actually does for Ness. I'm not sure. I guess it gives him the wall to bounce off of to recover. That's one thing, yeah. But if he's that low to want to bounce off a wall, he's probably getting pocketed anyways. You saw last game he had a lot of trouble just getting stage control, and uh, with the tri platform set up here, he might have an easier time just going above Villager's wall of slingshots? Yeah, maybe. The one thing that, that sucks for Ness on this stage is just, like, Villager sitting underneath these platforms. It actually becomes so hard to get in on Villager. Because mm. um, you can't jump in from above with that platform kind of covering Villager's head. But if he gets an early lead, it, it, that will matter a lot less because he won't have to get in. You can see, even with a, a slight disadvantage, Opsign playing very far back. It's kind of forcing forcing Pantry to take initiative. Wow! And we see the strong hitbox of the backer there. Yeah, that was that was only 90% in that kill. Yeah, those moves are really strong close up. Wow. Okay. Pantry, Pantry answers right back. Far off stage. All right, we've got a match. Yeah, this is really just going to be a case of can Pantry get through these slingshots? Because that's really the foundation of Villager's Neutral. Yeah, I'd like to see Pantry be a little bit more grounded. Um, he's trying to be in the air a lot. It seems like he really, really likes that magnet. And he really likes some of those movement tools he has in the air. But you can't shield when you're in the air. So those slingshots kind of just like dominate the, the, uh, the air game. It's true. That's another reason it's hard for Ness because he wants to be in the air, getting tricky with his magnet movement and his aerials. He doesn't really have the best ground-based game. Yeah. Oh, for some reason I thought that was going to kill. <laughs> I'm so used to Ness's back row <laughs> sending so far so fast, and it just it didn't go anywhere. It just kind of like plopped on the ground. <laughs> Trading positions here. Both players have a really good understanding of stage control by the looks of it. Trying to hold center and keep the other one at the ledge. Oh, okay. <laughs> Those little tiny taps with the slingshot. Oh, he oh, just makes that it. That angle was actually so good. Manages to grab the ledge. 
Pantry is holding on to this stock. Oh, and all he needs now is probably a grab, and it's... Whoa. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah, back throw will definitely kill here. Oh! oh that bowling ball. Be careful. Oh, yeah, the slingshot. That's so good. You, you send the Lloyd Rocket out at ground level, which baits them into jumping, and then you call out the jump with the slingshot. Oh, he went for the pocket there. Oh, this is so scary by Pantry. Yeah, he could die it at zero. He zero, needs to be careful. Just because he respawned with a fresh stock doesn't mean he's safe. Back throw, not quite. And yeah, not from center stage. Oh, that's a cool idea, using the PK fire on the tree to kind of have that consistent PK fire hurtbox out there. Yeah, smart. Okay, we're back to even here. Trading blows here, back and forth. This is a very close game. Playing some baseball mid-game. Yeah, again, just baiting out the jump with the Lloyd Rocket and then hitting the slingshot. Ooh, good conversion. I love Magnet and the drag down up there. It looks so cool. Alright, offside pulling ahead a little. He's gotta find a way in. I really don't know how he does it. The forward smash is a good idea. Instead of jumping into the slingshot, he's he's adapting and realizing that he wants to stay grounded. Sending the Lloyd Rocket back at offside. <gasps> oh, but he air dodges into the bowling ball, and that's going to be the set. That was a really good setup again from offside. Instead of covering the area that the um, the Lloyd Rocket didn't cover that time, that time he covered exactly where the Lloyd Rocket was going. So that when Ness air dodged through it, it covered. Yeah, very impressed by his setups there.